Hello everyone, welcome to this series of science lessons. This is a continuation of the previous lecture. Uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Imagine an object is moving along a straight line. Uh, let it travel 5 meter in 1 second, 5 more meter in the next second and 5 more meter in the next second and so on. Here we can notice an object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time. In the first second it travelled 5 meter. In the second second it travelled 5 meter. In the third second it travelled 5 meter. And the pattern follows. So an object covers equal distance in equal interval of time. This type of motion is called uniform motion. We consider, uh, generally we consider time scale which is very low say for instance in terms of 0.1 seconds and in our day to day life we see some objects cover unequal distances in equal interval of time for instance a car moving in a crowded street when you are stuck in a traffic while you are traveling you see that an automobile will be at rest at some point and it starts to move if there is more crowd, again the automobile will slow down. There is a non-uniform moment. This type of motion is called non-uniform motion. Measuring the rate of motion. We know there are two types of motion. Uh, uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Now let us measure the rate at which the object moves. Here in the example 8.2a we can notice that here in the television the game of cricket is being telecasted you can notice the bowling speed in an over the speed at which the first ball is thrown by a bowler is 140 km per hour in second ball 143 km per hour in the third ball 135 km, 135 km per hour so what are these numbers and what are these units 140 km per hour and 135 km per hour those are actually the rate at which object moves. Different objects may take different amounts of time to cover a distance. There are some objects which move fast, there are some objects which move slowly. A very powerful automobile such as a car can move very fast, whereas animals such as tortoise move very slow. The rate at which object moves can be different. Also, different object can move at the same rate also. One of the ways of finding out the rate of motion is to find out the distance travelled by an object in one second. This is referred as speed. The SI unit of speed is the standard. The standard unit of speed is meter per second. Generally, it is represented by meter divided by second or in the standard notation meter per second. This one is, the circled one is most commonly used. And there could be other units of rate of motion as well. Uh, for instance, centimeter per second, kilometer per second, and millimeter per second, and so on. That depends on our requirement. The standard unit is meter per second. To specify the speed of an object, we only require the magnitude. In most of the everyday cases, the objects will be in non-uniform motion. We describe those different speeds in terms of average speed. Average speed of an object is obtained by dividing the total distance travelled by an object divided by total time taken. Let us denote distance as S and time as T. Total distance travelled divided by total time taken is equal to average speed V. V meter per second. The unit of uh, distance is meter and the unit of time is second meter per second now let us see an example an object now let us see example 8.1 an object travels 16 meter in 4 seconds and then another 16 meter in 2 seconds what is the average speed of an object during first interval the object traveled 16 meter in 4 seconds in the second interval, the same object travelled 16 meters in 2 seconds. 
so what is the total distance the total distance is 16 meter plus 16 meter which is equal to 32 meter the total time taken is 2 second plus 4 second which is equal to 6 seconds 32 meter divided by 6 second is equal to 5.33 you can calculate by yourself 235 meter per second therefore the average speed of an object is 5.33 meter per second speed with direction in the previous case we just concentrated on the speed which has just the magnitude the amount of speed we haven't mentioned any direction now let us see speed with direction the rate of motion of an object can be more comprehensive if we specify its direction of motion along with speed this quantity which specifies which mentions both direction of motion and speed it is called velocity velocity is the speed of an object moving in a definite direction velocity of an object can be uniform or non-uniform we can also call it as variable for non-uniform velocity is calculated same as we calculate speed and unit will also remains the same in case the velocity of an object is changing at a uniform rate then the average velocity is given by arithmetic mean of the initial velocity and final velocity we just add the initial velocity and the final velocity and we take the average of those two so the final velocity v a v is equal to initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 now let us see an example now let us see example 8.3 Usha swims in a 90 meter long pool the length of pool is 90 meter she covers 180 meter in one minute by swimming from one end to the other end and back along this same straight path she swims 90 meter in forward direction and she again swims back in the same path in a straight line one more 90 meter find the average speed and average velocity in speed we only concentrate on how much speed an object is moving we don't worry about the in, in which direction the object is moving whereas when we are dealing with velocity we need to consider both the speed and the direction of motion in this case forward motion and backward motion the total distance covered by usha in one minute is 180 meter displacement of usha in one meter is zero meter total distance is 180 meter because she started at this point she reached the other end of the swimming pool again she came back to the same position the total distance covered by usha is 180 meter 90 meter plus 90 meter whereas the displacement is zero we define displacement in terms of the difference between initial position and final position along with some direction she started at this point she traveled to, to other end of the swimming pool again she came back to the same point before she was starting the distance was zero meter and she came back to the same position so the final position also becomes the same point so the total displacement is zero the difference between initial position and final position is zero initial position is zero right she started from here and final position is also at the same point zero initial position minus final position is equal to zero so the displacement is zero average speed is speed is defined as total distance covered by total time taken total distance covered is 180 meter and total time taken is one minute now let us uh, denote this in standard units instead of writing minutes let us convert minutes into seconds one minute is equal to 60 seconds so 180 divided by 60 3 meters per second is the average speed now let us calculate average velocity the total distance covered is the distance covered is final position is 0 and initial position is 0 and the time taken is 60 seconds 0 divided by any number is 0 so the average velocity is 0 meter per second 
The content of this recording is borrowed from Karnataka Textbook Society Bangalore under fair usage policy. This video is presented by Avari Technologies. Please do hit subscribe button to get more content. Thank you.